Good morning, everyone. My name is Rebecca Gonzalez. I'm a senior librarian with the San Jose Public Library, and I'm also a member of the Pacific Library Partnership Staff Development Committee who put together the, today's conference. It is wonderful to see you all for the first in-person conference that we've hosted since 2019. I think it goes without saying that we have all experienced a significant amount of change in that time, both personally and professionally. As we look to the future of libraries, we now have the opportunity to reflect on the past three years, share what we have learned, and plan for a better tomorrow. This all leads us to today's theme, expanding your toolbox for a changing world. We've got a full and exciting lineup of speakers scheduled for today, but before I hand off the mic, I would like to cover a few in-house items. So restrooms, I know that's always first and foremost in people's minds. If you go out through the door, go straight, follow the signage, and then you'll be able to find the, light, um, the restrooms. There will be three breaks today, two 15-minute breaks, as well as an hour and a half lunch. Masks are recommended at this venue, but they are not required. At this time, I would also like to take the opportunity to thank the San Francisco Public Library for hosting this event and the PLP executive leaders who have continued to provide their unwavering support and guidance throughout the planning process. This leads me to introduce you all to Carol Frost, CEO of the Pacific Library Partnership. Thank you, Carol. Good morning. Welcome to the 18th annual Future of Libraries Conference, 18 years. On behalf of the Pacific Library Partnership, I wanna thank each of you for coming. PLP is one of the nine cooperatives throughout the state of California with 44 public and academic library jurisdictions in the greater San Francisco Bay Area. Our staff development committee sponsors the Future of Libraries Conference each fall to bring you engaging new topics and presentations around the most important issues facing libraries with the hope that you will walk away with fresh perspectives and innovative approaches to the challenges that you face in your own organizations and by yourself. In addition to this conference, the committee also hosts a smaller brown bag training program that are reserved for PLP members throughout the year. We appreciate you being here. We have not met in person in the Corret Auditorium since October 2nd, 2019. That conference theme was issues and challenges in the information age. Little did we know that within just a few months, our lives would be changed forever by a pandemic. During that time, we switched to online conferences because what we felt like it was still very important for us to stay connected. In that online environment, we were able to expand our conference to two days to, de to dive deeper and to discuss important topics. In 2020, our theme focused on equity, anti-racism, and work in the new normal addressed the quickly changing landscapes of our, in our society as well as in our profession. In 2021, the theme, Caring, Engaged, and Equitable, continued the conversation of equity and how we are called to personally grow and change and how our organizations can think about our programs and services through this lens. Today's theme, Expanding Your Toolbox for a Changing World, will help us look at some of the equity work that has manifested itself in our libraries. We will hear about confronting disinformation and book banning by cultivating critical thinking and empathy. Panels will discuss serving unhoused members in our communities, and I am pleased that there will be a panel on the Student Success Initiative. Some of you may not be aware of this, but that initiative started in 2016 with the PLP LSTA grant in partnership with the NorthNet Library System. It became a statewide program with about half of the libraries statewide participating. So it will be great to hear an update from the libraries in how their programs have changed since their inceptions. I'm also very excited to hear about the controlled digital lending model, which the Cabrillo Community College has implemented. I first heard about this at a MOBAC committee meeting 
and was so intrigued about how the community colleges are addressing inequity by scanning and loaning out textbooks. I know that changing cultures and systems uh, is a slow, difficult work. Confronting the ways that our actions and in institutions lead to differential treatment of individuals, even if done unintentionally, is only the first step in creating the change that is so necessary. We thank you for your willingness today to listen to the things that may make you uncomfortable and still remain present and open. And we hope that you will continue to ask yourselves, as libraries and library professionals, how can you strengthen your commitment to changing services for the better of our communities? It was a difficult decision for the PLP Staff Development Committee to decide whether to continue online for this conference or to come back in person. Both options have their own unique benefits as well as limitations. We appreciate you making the effort to be here and hope that the organic connections and conversations that can happen at in-person events will serve you well today. There's plenty of room in this auditorium, so feel free to spread out as well as to find a space that works for you. Finally, I'd like to thank the speakers. I'd like to thank the San Francisco Public Library and the Pacific Library Partnership Staff Development Committee for doing all of the work to develop, publicize, and bring today's lineups of amazing speakers to fruition. I'd like to especially give thanks to Tierney Alvarado and Chris Ota, as well as Karen Engel and Aidan Kwan, the committee co-chairs and conference co-chairs for this year. They and all of the Staff Development Committee put in a huge amount of effort to help transition the conference from online back to person. And there's uh, three other people I want to just recognize. Um, Justin Wasterlane in the back is our new PLP assistant director. So if you haven't had a chance to say hello to him in person yet, please do that during the break. Uh, we also have Meg DePriest from the California State Library here. And coming later on today is Lisa Nolan from the California State Library, and she is in charge of the Parks Pass program. So that should be very interesting to, to meet her during one of the breaks. So thank you very much and have a great conference. Thank you again, Carol. I would like to introduce next, Katrin Reimuller, Chief of the Main Library, San Francisco Public Library. Hi, welcome. Back to the main, we're really happy to have Future of Libraries here. Um, as Rebecca said, I'm Katrin Reimuller. I'm chief of the main library. I am here in Michael Lambert's stead, our city librarian. Michael is at the, uh, presenting at the uh, Internet Librarian Conference in Monterey. So it's great to be back in person. I have really missed that. I've missed it in meetings, conferences, in the world. and. And we are so happy to have you back and reopening our spaces for everybody to get together, to connect, to learn. Um, I think in-person is really, really meaningful. And so I'm happy to see you all back. Um, I want to thank the Pacific Library Partnership and the Staff Development Committee for choosing to come back in person and for covering some topics we have all been thinking about and have concerns about from services to the unhoused, disinformation and banned books, uh, equity in digital access and critical race theory. I think they're hitting on um, some really key issues today and it's gonna be a great conference. I would be remiss without thanking our San Francisco Public Library staff, uh, custodial, security, our media services team right over here, and, um, and our meeting room coordinator, Marcial. Without them, we couldn't have made this possible, opening up our space to you. So um, welcome, and I hope you have a great conference. I believe I'm handing it back to Rebecca to introduce the keynote speakers.